Game of Thrones is almost back and HBO debuted the first official trailer for season four. Now I'm going to show it to you in a few moments, but first, how awesome was the new footage? And how many times did you watch this trailer? Now a few things to notice before I show it to you. There's a new main character, there's a prosthetic arm for Jaime Lannister, ugh, to King Joffrey, and Khaleesi is a very strong leader, probably stronger than we've ever seen her before. And now, the best minute and 45 seconds you've been waiting for, my fellow Game of Thrones fans. And keep watching because we've got more details about what you actually watch straight from the book's author, George R.R. R. Martin. Here you go. The people love their king. They know I saved the city. They know I won the war. The war's not won. It's tempting to see your enemies as evil. But there's good and evil on both sides in every war ever fought. They have a choice. They can live in my new world, or they can die in their old one. Things are a bit tense right now. I don't think I'm talking my way out of this one. If the wildlings breach the wall, they'll roll over everything and everyone. Given the opportunity, what do we do to those who've hurt the ones we love? I want to know which side you're on. Tell your father I'm here, and tell him the Lannisters are the only ones who pay their debts. You'll fight over him like beasts until you tear him apart. I will burn our house to the ground before I let that happen. Wolves! Tonight we fight! There is only one hell. The one we live in now. You've come to the wrong place. Amazing! And now I've got some really fun facts and details related to the trailer. But first, as a reminder, season four of the show kicks off on Sunday, April 6th at 9 p.m. on HBO. Okay, so some things to note. Jamie Lannister reminds the king that the war is not over. Yeah, that's pretty darn true. We see shots of the Red Priestess and wonder what she's got in the works for Stannis Baratheon in this ending to the War of the Five Kings. We also see scenes with the Wildings fighting to the death, Jon Snow is in there, and it looks like the Greyjoys might want in on the action. With the shot of the empty Iron Throne and the annoyance of King Joffrey by all, we think that there might be a plot to overtake his position as leader of the House of Lannister. But not before the king weds Marjorie in the Purple Wedding, a name that book fans know and understand that the color comes from the hue of the wine at the wedding, which plays a big part in the plot. Based on what we now know of the Red Wedding and what that color meant for everything, fans should be excited to see this storyline play out. We hear via TV Guide that it's going to be the wedding of the year. The scenes look spectacular. The bride's dress thoughtfully incorporates roses. There's entertainment at the celebration. And finally, there are 77 courses at the dinner feast. As I mentioned before, Jamie Lannister's strength is renewed and he has a prosthetic arm for this season. Khaleesi threatens, quote, they have a choice. They can live in my new world or they can die in their old one. That's definitely the quote of the trailer. Tyrion is shackled, and of course we're hoping he can escape the situation. And finally, perhaps one of the most exciting moments of the trailer, we see a new character. That handsome fella is Prince Oberyn Martell, a character who George R.R. R. Martin calls one of the most popular book characters. He hails from Dorne, and everyone calls him the Red Viper of Dorne. Based on the fact that the Lannisters killed his family, he is ready to seek vengeance this season. And that does it for now, but based on the fighting skills you saw from the Red Viper in the new Game of Thrones trailer, who would win in battle? 
Oberyn with his need to avenge his dead family members? Or is it Jamie with his renewed spirit to fight and his new arm? Click on the winner of this match, Oberyn or Jamie, and then you'll get to check out the full list of TV winners at the 2014 Golden Globes. I'm Dana Ward. Thanks so much for checking out Clever News. Be sure to leave a comment below with your thoughts on this season four trailer from Game of Thrones. We'll see you guys next time. Mm-hmm.